Let's compete with the other um, room. If, if I speak right now, can you hear me? Yes! yes. I can hear you. I'm just going to keep asking if you can hear me. Just We've decided not to wait and be introduced. We're just going to introduce ourselves. Right, we don't seem to have a... Yeah. We just sort of just wandered in here. Just by fluke. Anyway, uh, my name is Katie Griffin and I was uh, I played Sailor Mars.
wouldn't say completely different than what we were doing, but sometimes the attention or the way it was portrayed in, in, in English speaking, uh, I, I found it too way more interesting. I mean, I just, it, it was deeper, it was, uh, you know. The other thing is, we, we did something called the Rhythm of Band. And the, and the script for us was written out by um, a woman from Montreal, Nicole, with crazy handwriting. So basically what would happen is we would get the script. So the only time we would actually see the episodes or know what was going on was after the fact. So we had no idea what was going on as we were recording. It was basically the rhythm band is watching the lines hit a mark. And that's when you start talking to, to match the lips flapping. It was actually quite tricky until you, especially with Nicole's crazy handwriting. So we didn't really know the storylines until after we watched it. I had no idea what was going on. And then when I watched it, I was like, Sailor Mars rocks. <laughs> Sometimes we would record scenes like battle scenes and stuff. <laughs> I mean, in order to make the word match exactly like the lip flapping, they would write the word out sort of almost phonetically, like if it was, say I was yelling like, ah, they would write A, 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 H, 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 and I'd have to like hit that as it's hitting the word. Like, and, and they would play the scenes for us as, like we, we wouldn't get the scripts ahead of time. So we'd walk into sessions, not really getting a chance to really emotionally connect with what we're trying to portray. And, so I'd read scenes cold sometimes, like battle scenes cold, reading it off of rhythm band, and then after it was over I'd be like, what just happened? I, I know. I'd be exhausted from the actual battle scene just because I because of trying to match where the words hitting the line, you're like, it was, it was so crazy. And sometimes we finish episodes and then I find out what happened in the episode. So I'd be like, it was completely the opposite of how every other animation I mean we've ever done. You know. You know what? I remember. I, I to remember the time. I'm trying to remember the time. In terms of where we were. But I remember talking to Nicole. Nicole was sort of our producer, the director, that. that that created all the rhythm and the dubbing show for all our sessions. Just so you know, there's a countdown on it. We're all waiting for Mars. Joining Curiosity. We're over. Anybody get No one got that joke. Thank you. We landed a rover on Mars. Just, just checking, just checking. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I remember having a conversation with Nicole about that. Yeah. I don't think we did it though. No, we never we never recorded, but I remember her saying that, that it was gonna happen and that it never did and I don't so we never really found out why. You know, I don't know. I found out. I think that I know odd. why. <laughs> no, but there no there what there were gender issues though with We have a good shot because it's way cheaper to do it in Canada. So they'll keep all the regular Sailor Scouts, except for the American boy over here. He's just. <laughs> um, but but if, if it is in fact bought out and it is in LA, then I have a feeling they'll recast. I don't know. I'm going to be hopeful. Cup half full. So have you guys ever watched the uh, the commercial before the 
Yes, yes, but I mean like the evil stuff, like where you get to create a voice and be like crazy, you know what I mean? So I, I wanted to do like a wacky villain guy, because I was always, you know, coming in with my roses and saving the day and stuff like that. So I, I wanted to be bad guys, so, so Nicole, we, it went uncredited. It went uncredited, but I, I can't remember which episode it is exactly. Out of many. Well, because yeah. on the day that we did it, I think I recorded like 15, that day, 15 episodes in that session. So we just threw it in, and I just remember kicking my own ass. And it, just, it was kind of fun. It goes uncredited. It's, it's out there in the universe. If anyone can figure it out and email me about it, that would be awesome. So I always wanted to know which episode I was doing. What was that? I don't, I don't at all. I, it was like I said, we did like 50, I mean that particular day, I probably did 15 or 20 episodes, so I mean there were so many villains, and yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to look at that stuff, so it's hard to look at that stuff, it's hard to look at that stuff, it's other than the, the little tiny skirts and high heels. Um, but I did think it was very empowering for, for young girls. And, wanted to be when they grew up. And when they asked the little boys, they said, I want to be a farmer. I want to be a, uh, 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 an astronaut. I I'm going to be a doctor. And they asked the little girls, what do you want to be? And don't forget, this is going back 25, 35, 40 years. Well, I want to be she a teacher. I want to be, no, the times were different. I want to be a teacher. <laughs> I want to be a teacher or a nurse. And then they said to one little girl, well, what would you want to be if you were a boy. And she said, if I were a boy, I could be anything. That's in my generation, that that's the way people thought. And so when I started doing Sailor Moon, and I started reading this dialogue that as Katie was saying, it goes by so quickly, it's just up on that screen and you're reading it, and all of a sudden it says, if it's in big letters, it means the person's angry, so you're reading away and all of a sudden it goes, and I think that you're crazy and I think, and all of a sudden you know that's the emotion you're trying to portray. What I understood was that these girls, and they were girls, spoke their minds, they said what they felt, honestly and not maliciously. They just said it. This is how I feel. And that's real. It's not all held in and held back. And if that had an effect, as you say, on a generation of people, then that does my heart all the good in the world. Because that's what it's all about. Just be who you authentically are at the moment. Don't hurt anybody. Is that a calling for time? Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out.